everyone, it's Always Improving here, and today I'm so excited to show you guys all the art supplies I got for Christmas this year. This is going to be a long video, so I'm going to split it up into a couple of different parts. Um, today I'll be going over just kind of a general overview of what I got and maybe get to a couple supplies at the end. But first, I just want to say thank you to everyone who gave me supplies this Christmas. It's pretty much all I asked for, so I'm really grateful to have all of these to show you and really grateful to be able to use these supplies in the future. So without further ado, let's just get this started and I'm just going to go through quickly and show you briefly what I got and maybe unpackage some things. We'll see how it goes. In order to kick this video off appropriately, I'm going to start with some watercolor paints. So first of all, I already have some Daniel Smith watercolors and some of the M. Graham watercolors. And for Christmas, I asked for a few more of these um, tubes. Now I had specific colors I wanted because I had already, um, I've already used their paints. So I kind of knew what I was missing and wanted from the new color. First of all, from Daniel Smith, I got three refill tubes. These three colors I use very, very often, and they are three primary colors, uh, Quinacridone Rose, Thalo Blue, and Lemon Yellow, and I use these three a lot because of that. Um, they're like a cyan, yellow, magenta sort of thing. And then the two new colors I got are Mo Moon Glow, um, and this maroon color here. I don't know exactly know how to pronounce this name, but these two colors I've seen have performed really well in others' videos, and the color swatches look really well to complement my palette. So those are the Daniel Smith colors I got. Then moving on to the M. Graham paints, I got some colors to complement the five colors I already have. So in M. Graham paints, I have the five colors in the beginners or basic set. I don't know exactly how they uh, call that set, but it is just... Um, a couple of basic colors that you need, but I found there were some holes in the palette, so I got a cool red, a yellow ochre, a phthalo blue, uh, one of these dark blues, anthra quinone, I think, and azo green. They really will help to broaden the uh, vibrancy of my palette from M. Graham, so I'm really excited to try these out. And for those new tubes of paint, I got this empty palette, which it isn't empty anymore, but what is in it is the new M. Graham colors. The next set I want to show you guys is something that may be a little um, less professional, but it's something I'm really excited to try. Uh, it's this Prima marketing set that I've heard a lot about. Uh, some other YouTubers that I really love um, have recommended this specific set. So here, let's take this out. So they're already poured paints, I believe. I haven't opened them yet, and I will do an unboxing of them later, but there's a ton of colors, and they're not necessarily like professional grade or anything. Um, I just am really excited to try them because of the reviews I've heard about them, and I know that they're just a really fun set to play around with. So here they are again, just real quick. The Prima Marketing Tropical Set. So this next set is a French set of watercolors. It is a Sennelier set, and I am really excited for this set. I really didn't think I would get many more watercolors than what I did, but you're about to see that that is a complete truth. I got two more sets, and I was so blown away um, by the just love that I felt on Christmas from all of these different watercolors I got. And I don't, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but like. I'm just so happy and so excited to share with everyone who got me these supplies, um, show them what I create and show them how much I appreciate their gifts. Um, so this again is a French brand, it is a uh, honey based like M. Graham is, so I'm really excited to see how they perform. Uh, M. Graham is known for being smooth, um, so I'm expecting these to be the same way. Um, this is a tube set, so if we open this up right here, we can see it came with this little um, book. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but we'll go into more detail for what exactly this set pertains, or I guess contains, <laughs> contains, excuse me, uh, in the video that we cover it in. So, just wanted to show you guys what this looks like. I think it also came with a brush, uh, 12 watercolor tubes from Sennelier. And finally... The biggest watercolor set I got 
it is a mission gold watercolor set uh, from a jello and I guess you can see how big it is like those are my hands I don't know if you know how big my hands are but like it's a big palette so I'm just gonna open this up you can see on the front cover it says 15 milliliter tubes and 34 colors which is an insane amount for what I do I normally do not use this many colors at all but here we go so again I'm not gonna go into too much detail what it has in here um, but it is it is a lot of stuff. I'm really excited to try these out. I don't know too much about them, but I'm really excited. So I don't know how many times I'm going to say that this video, but seriously, this is like, I was not expecting this set at all for Christmas. And I don't know, I'm just really, uh, I don't know, in disbelief about it still because I haven't tried them yet. So this video is going to be really fun to, uh, put together for these paints. Now I want to take a break from all of these paints and move on to some of the paper I got. Now I'm not going to show all of it just because some of it is bigger watercolor paper that I can cut down, but I do want to tell you that it is a fluid 100 watercolor paper and I'll show you just a little sample of it real quick. So this is a block right here of the watercolor paper. It is a 100% cotton paper, but it's not super expensive. Um, but I really love the texture. It's a little less rough than a lot of cold pressed papers. Um, and I like the way it absorbs water. So I don't know, it might not be for everyone, but I got a lot of paper in various sizes of this. I got this block and then like a I forget what they're called, but like a pocket thing that has a bunch of different sizes in it. So I'm not going to show that just because it's kind of repetitive. But here is the paper I got. Next up here we have two separate palettes. One of which is for oil paints, which I still haven't shared with the channel yet. But I am getting into some oil paints. This is a glass palette. I mean, I guess technically this can be used for a variety of things. Oils and acrylics probably. But I will be using it primarily for oil painting um and I also got a Magello palette which I didn't know existed and it is literally humongous this has 55 wells yes you heard me correctly 55 wells I'm pretty sure and I just don't think that it is super practical for me um but we'll see I think I'll try to use it maybe that's what I'll put my Magello paints in because there's so many of them but it's meant to be like a studio palette that you don't take anywhere so that's why it's so big but I don't know if it makes sense for me so we'll see how much I like this or dislike it we'll see in future videos now we're going to return to the paint um real quick we got two more things to go through for the paint um, this is a gouache set from M. Graham, actually, so I really like their watercolors. I've never tried their gouache, uh, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, it's just five colors here. I'll just show you briefly. Uh, kind of a basic set of gouache. I don't know if I'll like these five colors together. Um, I usually don't like to use black, but we'll see. I'm pretty excited about them. Again, excited, I know, but um, we'll see how it goes. And then the last set is from Turner's. Um, Turner's is a brand, this is <laughs> kind of sentimental to me. I started out watercolors with a set from Turner's. Um, so I got some acrylic gouache, if you can read that there. And it's a pretty big set as well. Again, it's not watercolor, so the tubes are a little bigger, 20 milliliters. And this is, again, a really big set of colors. And I'm kind of nervous about that. I kind of get overwhelmed with all of these colors. Um, but if you don't know what acrylic gouache is, it is basically gouache that dries permanent. Not permanent necessarily. Well, yeah, permanent. It doesn't, it's not rewettable with water. Again, it's less like, less expensive brand than some of the more well-known acrylic gouache brands like Holbein. Um, so it's a little bit more affordable. Now for some miscellaneous things that I got for Christmas that are related to art supplies. So first up here, we got this set of Prismacolor uh, Cola Erase. I don't know if it says Cola Erase anywhere on here, but they are basically color pencils that are somewhat erasable. I like to sketch with these underneath my watercolor paintings uh, so that it doesn't smudge. Color pencil doesn't smudge, graphite does. So that's why I got these, or I guess I asked for them. That's why I asked for them. 
So the next thing I want to show you guys is this um, pencil sharpener. Yeah, so it's a pencil sharpener. I just didn't have a really good one um, that I felt comfortable with using for a lot of my um, color pencils that I have. So I decided to ask for one. This one had really good reviews. I don't know a lot about sharpeners, so uh, we'll see how it goes. And then the next thing I got, which I didn't even have on my list, so kudos to you for buying this. You know who you are. Um, this is a figure drawing book. Here it is by uh, Michael Hampton, and I've definitely heard about this book. Um, this book and the one by um, Loomis have been recommended so many times to me, and I'm really grateful to actually get this book, um, just because, I don't know, it's pretty exciting. I feel like it'll be, well, pretty beneficial for me as an artist um, who likes to draw people a lot. And then one more thing I want to show you before... No, I have a couple more things, actually. So I got two cans of varnish. Uh, a matte one and a satin one. And this is for watercolor paintings or gouache paintings that I really want to protect. I don't know if these are super common, uh, but this was the most recommended thing when I looked up the problems I was having with um, brush varnish, I guess to say. But I'm pretty excited to use these, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And guys, we're nearing the end. I think I have two, two more things to show you. Um, that are both in tubs. So the first is this uh, brush cleaner right here. It's by Masters B and J, the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Um, so I've heard some people talking about this and wanted to try it myself. Pretty small thing. Um, it's basically what it sounds like. I can clean my oil brushes or acrylic brushes or I guess even watercolor brushes um, with it and help preserve the brushes and to clean up any um, stains or whatever from paint. But honestly, I probably won't use it for watercolor just because watercolor brushes clean themselves pretty easy just in water. So the last thing I think that I have to show you today is this big tub right here and I don't actually know if I'm going to use this just because I don't have like a surface to use it on yet. I mean I could use it on like cardboard or something um, but I want to use something I can preserve uh, this painting on if I paint something on this. Um, so I might try to save up for some like cardboard or masonite or something to uh, use this gesso on. Gesso? I'm not sure how to say it actually. but. I am really excited to try this. It is a huge freaking tub. Um, I don't know if you need a ton of it. I don't know a lot about this, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but otherwise, guys, I think that's all the art supplies that I have to show you today. Um, and yeah, that's the, the end of this overview. So this is going to be a super short video. Um, and it's already over. I think that I'm going to split it up completely. And if you are excited to see how some of these supplies turn out or how I like some of these supplies, then stay tuned for the next coming up videos. They will be about uh, one or two, maybe a few more of these supplies and just me delving into them completely, uh, trying a new piece with them, uh, pouring them, and testing them. So. I really hope you enjoyed this video. No, it was really quick. I really hope the audio quality is good. This is not in the same room I normally record. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but, again, uh, super excited to try all these supplies. I know I'm overusing that word, but truly that is the best way to s describe how I feel right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you had a merry, merry Christmas or happy holidays um, and are having a great new year. Bye!